Nez Perce fight battle of the Big Hole, having refused government demands that they move to a reservation, a small band of Nez Perce tribesmen clash with the U.S. Army, near the Big Hole River in Montana. The conflict between the U.S. government and the Nez Perce, was one of the most tragic of the many Indian wars of the 19th century. Beginning with the tribe's first contact with the explorers, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, the peaceful Nez Perce had befriended and cooperated with the Americans. Even when hordes of white settlers began to flood into their homelands along the Snake River, around the present-day intersection of the Oregon, Washington and Idaho state borders, most of the Nez Perce peacefully moved to a reservation. However, about a quarter of the Nez Perce, most of them stockmen and buffalo hunters, refused to accept internment on a reservation. Government pressure to force these last resistors to comply finally led to the outbreak of the Nez Perce War of 1877. A small band of warriors, never more than 145 men, though burdened with about 500 non-combatants, fought U.S. soldiers at four major battles. The Third Battle of the Nez Perce War occurred on this day in 1877. Fleeing eastward with hopes of escaping to Canada, the Nez Perce made camp in the Big Hole Basin in present-day western Montana. At 3.30 a.m., Colonel John Gibbon attacked the sleeping Indians with a force of 183 men, raking the Indian lodges with withering rifle fire, the soldiers initially seemed to be victorious. The Nez Perce, however, soon counterattacked from concealed positions in the surrounding hills. After four days of sporadic fighting, the Nez Perce withdrew. Both sides suffered serious casualties. The soldiers lost 29 men with 40 wounded. The army body count found 89 Nez Perce dead, mostly women and children. The battle dealt the Nez Perce a grave, though not fatal, blow. The remaining Indians were able to escape, and they headed northeast towards Canada. Two months later, on October 5, Colonel Nelson Miles decisively defeated the Nez Perce at the Battle of the Bear Paw Mountains. Those who were not killed surrendered and reluctantly agreed to return to the reservation. The Nez Perce were only 40 miles short of the Canadian border.